What's going on, Nerd Nation? This is Sleeve Card signing in, and today I wanted to play a little bit of Pokemon TCG Online with you guys. Um, I'm going to do it a little differently today because last time uh, we did like a theme deck with the, X, the XY basic blue deck, the one with Greninja in it. Today I actually want to do something a little different. Um, I know in the last video I talked a little bit about my Lugia deck here that I'm working on. It's still not 100% complete, but I wanted to show it to you guys and then test it out um, and maybe get some of your feedback, tell me what you guys think about it. Um, so let me just pull it up here real quick. So this is the deck. I've named it Torrential Lugia um, only because it's a water, you know, mostly watered with just one, two normal types. Um, so let's pull them up. So first... For the Pokemon, we have Cleffa over here. So I, the reason I put Cleffa in, guys, is um, as you can see, it draws six cards. So if we don't have, or yeah, I can draw six cards, so I can get a nice big hands. Um, if I'm running low on cards, and then it puts it to sleep, and as long as it's asleep, it takes no damage. So it's nice to kind of stall plus uh, get a good healthy draw. Um, the main card in this deck is going to be Lugia. So with Lugia, let me backtrack this thing. So essentially how this deck works is my goal is to draw as many energy cards out as possible and put them all onto Lugia. Um, because with Lugia, I can use this arrow ball here to do 20 damage to, for every energy attached to both active Pokemon. So the more um, energy I can get pulled out, the more I can attach it on to Lugia, and the more damage it does that way. Sorry, my throat's, my, uh, mouth's a little dry this morning, so pardon the pauses. And then to that effect, so we have two Articuno, which you guys saw last time from the X and Y deck, um, so I actually did go ahead and put it in here. So it's, this one's main focus is to get the energy cards out. So I have, currently I'm running two of those, um, one Lugia, I do want to add one or possibly two more Lugias to this deck, that's why it's still kind of a work in progress. Um, next we have uh, Milotic, which I keep in here because of this move right here, Clear Search. It doesn't, I don't use it for Water Pulse that much, um, I guess I could, but mostly I use it for Clear Search, which will let me search the deck for any three cards. So that's nice to get like the supporter cards out to search for Lugia um, and just, just kind of pull whatever I need. Next, I have the X and Y Greninja. So I have one line of that out. Just like I said, uh, I think I mentioned it in the last video. I use it a lot for just kind of added offensive pressure. Um, I have two Lapras. The Lapras are kind of operate similar to Articuno. So it lets me get car or energy out of the discard pile so if I have Lugia on the bench I could potentially add three more energy onto Lugia. Um, then I have Oshawa through Samurai here. This is these ones right here are just kind of like placeholders so I'm looking to get rid of them um, possibly for like a Lugia EX maybe like a Keldeo EX one or two. Uh, the one thing I do know I'm going to add in here next is the promo Manaphy from the Mythical box, because I actually have a one of the boxes um, like sitting on my desk here, and I'm hopefully going to do a box opening on it later today or tomorrow, so look for that coming up. Um, but when I get that pulled, I'm going to use that promo code to put that Manaphy in, because the Manaphy also helps me draw. And then I have another, or I have, not another, but I have a Whale Lord um, and a Whale Mer in here just for this move right here, Water Cannon. So that way it works similar to Arrow Ball, um, and it gives me like an alternative to Lugia EX until I get some more EXs in here. Uh, as far as trainer and support cards are concerned, pretty standard across the board. I do run three Dive Balls um, because the deck is pretty much all water. Um, everything else is about the same. Sharon, um, Inns, Pokemon Center Lady. Um, this one right here, Rough Seas, this lets me heal up my water Pokemon. So I can use it to kind of heal 30 damage off of each one, which is just really nice um, for a lot of those kind of stall decks or decks that like to play you out a bit. So I'm going to actually get out of this and let's give it a test. So I'm going to do a duel with it, or a match with it, rather. Um, 
I won't count this towards like our record total, like the last one we won and we were like 1-0 and and all stuff. I'm not going to count it towards that because it's a CPU opponent. Um, and I don't know, it seems kind of cheap if I'm just throwing those out there. Okay, so let's go ahead and put Cleffa out first. This will probably be my first or second time testing this since I've put Cleffa in, so I'm not 100% sure like how well it's going to work for me, just with like the synergy of the deck, but you know, we'll figure it out. Um, okay, so we're facing a Psychic type. So I'm going to go ahead and put out the Dive Ball. And with this Dive Ball, I think what I want to do is get Thebas out. And the reason for that being if... Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? The reason for that being, oh, Feebass is going to be one of my prize Pokemon. Okay, that kind of sucks, because I was going to say, we have Milotic in our hand, so if we got Feebass out, then um, we could have used that to hopefully draw Lugia or draw out some decent Pokemon. In that case, what I'm going to actually do is get Frogadier, um, pull Frogadier so I can put him... Oh, damn. <laughs> Okay, so I actually misplayed. I thought that was a Froki um, that I had on the bench for whatever reason. But that's okay. Um, so let's see what we got. Da -da -da, search your deck for an evolution card. Okay, so I'm going to use Professor Elm's training method. So the one other thing I have to look at is before I can make this an official deck, I guess I would say, is... I have to get rid of Professor Elm's training method and Cleffa because I guess they're not like legal now that there's the legacy version. So I do have to change that. So I went ahead and used that to get Dewat out. So I can evolve to Oshwat now properly. And then next turn I'll be able to pull up Professor Elm to get Samurott. So we'll actually build up something on the bench here. In the meantime, I will take this one energy, put it right here. And no, I don't want to use that. We're gonna intern. Um, I don't really want to use, like, Eek just yet. I want to try and get Samurott out because, you know, otherwise we're wasting Professor Elm's training method to pull that just to get rid of it. Um, what do they play? Zubat? Okay. This actually, uh, we already have this Zubat. That's the Generation Zubat that um, I pulled in one of the packs. So let's go ahead and evolve Oshwat. Bring out Samurott now. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like Oshwat, Samurott, and all them. I haven't seen. Or I was gonna say. So I haven't really seen like Empoleon in this game yet, like in the TCG. But I almost feel like it's the crappiest, so to say, of like all of the uh, water starters. As not in, like, as far as in the game, plus in, like, in the game, plus in the TCG, because this card, like, it does decent damage, but there's really no benefit to, like, running it, because you can definitely get a lot better water-type Pokemon. Um, like, I guess Destructive Whirlpool's okay, but it's not, like, gonna be the be-all and end-all. Like, I would not make it the primary focus of any deck. All right, so let's see. So we're going to draw. Now we're going to bring out Samurott here. Um, that'll let me put this energy right here. And now we're actually going to use Cleffa to get rid of these three cards because right now Frogadier, Milotic don't do a whole lot for me. Pokemon Catcher's okay, but it's not like necessary at this moment. Um, okay, so that actually gets us a lot better hand. But we are going to lose Cleffa because... We just got a crappy flip there. Um, that's okay, so we'll be able to bring out Samurott. Samurott can start dishing out waterfalls. Okay. I don't know why they didn't just attack us there, but I don't know, whatever. So I'm going to bring up the rough sea so I can start healing back up. We're going to pull out Articuno. Um, I will put one energy right here on Samurott. And then I'm actually going to retreat to bring out Samurott.
and destructive whirlpool. Now, I mean, it's kind of cool. Like, we're definitely going to win this because it's a uh, like an easier level, I guess, CPU. I wish we would have gotten, or I wish we would get Lugia out, just because I want to show you guys how the deck really works. And <laughs> instead, we're using like the card I was ju I just finished saying we were going to get rid of soon. But I mean, we'll give it a try if. We don't get it out of this match. I mean, maybe after I make a couple more updates to it, we'll do another, like, one of these test videos. Alright, so let's see. So there's Lapras. Lapras will come out. I'm going to put this right here onto Articuno. Let's heal up. Let me see. Uh, use Waterfall. Um, so I guess another prize card. I mean, right now, maybe if Lugia is like one of the five prizes, four prizes. All right, so there's the Feebas. And we probably won't win on like this turn, but possibly next turn if they don't put anything on the bench. Okay, so let's do this. So Feebas will come out. I'm going to use my dive ball. One dive ball, go. To get out my Lodic. Put that there. Destructive Whirlpool. Some of these moves, I, I kind of wish, like, in the actual video game, they would use some of them just because some of them sound interesting. Like, if they had Whirlpool, like, Whirlpool's already in there, but if they had, like, Destructive Whirlpool, it was an 80 base power move, I, I mean, I could probably see myself using it. Um, and then... Instead of obviously getting rid of energy, like maybe it chips away PP or something. Like a spite whirlpool or spite. I guess it was 80 base power, but like spite waterfall. So if there was like a spite waterfall move, I would definitely see myself using that. Um, come on, let's go you here. And then we are just going to use waterfall. If it wants to pull up, there we go. If we just want to use waterfall. Um, go ahead and clean this match up. Now knowing my like this prize card's gonna be like Lugia. No, it's Lapras. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I, I would be like mildly pissed off if that would have been Lugia because it would just been been such a like mind blow. Alright, so we are done. Okay guys, so I know you didn't get to see it to like its full focus, but that's kind of how the deck operates. Um So what I'm thinking is once I get one or two more edits on there. I'll probably do another test deck with you with you guys so you can see it a little more cohesively. So right now the main thought is to get rid of Oshwat, Dewat, and Samurott and replace them um, with at least another Lugia EX, possibly another one or two Keldeo EXs, and then that Mana Fiend. Um, so that's what I just want to kind of show you guys. I definitely want to get your opinion on it. So if you have any ideas on the build, anything you think could be added, subtracted, um, you know, cards that you think would definitely benefit, like, the synergy of the deck. Um, just let me know down below in the comments. And then that is all I have. I'm actually going to get on out of here. This is Sleeve Cards signing out. Have yourselves a great day, and I will see you later.